Today I need to buy seven watches from five different people. Yeah, I've worked out that I need to spend over £100,000 today for the seven watches. The first watch I have already bought, and I bought this quite early this morning, this is a 1997 full yellow gold Daytona, Zenith Daytona, so the movement is Zenith before Rolex produced their own for, for the Daytona. Beautiful, absolutely amazing watch. This is actually sold to a, a lead singer of a very popular UK band. So, uh, yeah, try and work that one out. But the other six watches that I need to get are, well, some are outside of London, some are in London, and it's going to be a long day. I'm going to show you every single one of these seven watches, one by one. So comment, let me know which is your favourite. Um, oh, and I've also sold a watch as well, so I need to take that out with me. I've sold the GMT Sprite 2023. I think I'm nearly at 50k subscribers. I might already be there by the time this goes out, so wow. I started this channel five years ago, never thought I'd be there. Well, hoped I'd be here anyway, but yeah, thanks guys, much appreciated. Okay, watch number two has been picked up. It is a 2022 sub no date. Uh, it's a full set, it has everything, it has an original receipt also, which is pretty cool, it's good to have for collectors. Um, so yeah, watch number two, acquired. Now I need to go to the train station, I need to get on a train up north for watches three, four, and five. Just got off the train, time to pick up watch number three. Honestly, the amount of traveling I do these days is just ridiculous. I've probably seen 95% of the UK, which uh, isn't a brag. And so after five, six hours of travel, the next three watches have been picked up. So firstly, I dropped off the GMT Sprite. Um, and I did do a part X for that watch. So the guy that I met gave me a 2023 Air King full set and also a Datejust 41 mint green dial, also 2023 full set. So they're the third and fourth watch. Uh, the fifth watch that I picked up, I coincidentally met, this, met a different person at the same location, which was very, very handy. All this happened very late last night, but worked out very well. Um, I bought a two-tone GMT, the yellow, gold, and steel, the new zombie or the Guinness, whatever nickname it has. And uh, yeah, that is the fifth watch. So the last two, number six and seven, are at home. I'm not too far from home now, about a 10 minute walk. Um, but they've been delivered today. So let's go pick those up and uh, yeah, let's go see what they are. I recently bought this little piece of equipment here. This is a, a light box for taking photos uh, and also, I guess, videos of watches. And it's actually, it's pretty good. It just means that the, the photos I take for Instagram and my website are a little bit better quality because the lighting is good. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd share that with you guys. I have all of the watches that I've bought today uh, on the table here. They won't be staying here for long as I don't tend to, I don't keep anything here. I need to go to my safety deposit box. But anyway, there is, uh, there's two more watches that I need to show you guys. So let's have a look. Here is the delivery. I need to get a knife. Yay. Always gotta be careful with opening boxes to make sure that you don't slash the, the, the box of the, the watch. Um, watch number six and watch number seven. What I will say before I get into watch number six and seven is that I took both of these on a part X. So somebody, a very, probably my best customer, actually he is my best customer ever. Um, I think he's bought 10 watches from me. Uh, so I do appreciate this guy a lot. Um, but he has part X to these two watches plus cash and he's bought a watch which is one of the most expensive Rolexes that I've ever sold. It might be the most expensive Rolex. He has given to me an AP. The keen eyes will know that this is not a Rolex box, this is an AP box. Um, and this is a AP Royal Oak 15400 
blacked out and I'm pretty sure that this is 2018. Um, really cool watch. I have a very close affinity to the 15400. One of my first watches was a white dial 154. So I, yeah, I absolutely love that. Um, and then the last watch is this, I don't want to say it's an underwhelming watch, but it's a watch that we've seen on this channel many, many times if you guys are subscribed. Um, nevertheless, still a fantastic watch in my opinion. It's the GMT Root Beer, the 126711 CHNR. And I think this is a 2021. Um, let me just confirm, it is indeed. And this is, yeah, I will be putting these on my website so you can go check. Uh, more details of the watches there or you can just shoot me a DM or an email that's absolutely fine an observation that I've had with my business and you know the conversations that I'm having with you guys on a day-to-day -day basis on Instagram and email and, and whatsapp is I feel like you guys have more trust in me and my business I think because you know I've been doing this for two and a bit years now and I've sold into the hundreds of watches and you know, I, I like to think that I uh, give a good service to all the people that I work with and also offer very fair prices as well when I sell and also buy. Yeah, it feels like um, I, I kind of really, in a weird way, feel like I've just got a lot of trust from you guys and I feel the love a lot, like on Instagram when, when people message me and and say that they watch the videos and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I just want to say thanks because um, the business is doing really well. I'm really enjoying it and it's great to meet and speak to all you guys. So I was going to wait until the next video to show you this watch, but I'm quite excited to have it. So I'm just going to show you what it is. Um, so eight watches, not seven and not 100K, way more than 100K. But the first thing I want I want to point out, what, why is the, <laughs> why is the, the box this big, if you compare it to like a regular size sports steel Rolex box, it's it's like double the easily double the size, right? So if any of you know why this box is bigger, it's because it is a precious metal watch. And if if you really know why it's this big, you'll know that it's platinum. So like it's just, it just looks so ridiculous. Any of you guys have a platinum watch, this is what you get. It's, it's enormous, but anyway, enough of me complaining about Rolex boxes. Here is the watch. Guys, it's a platinum day date, fluted bezel, Roman numeral dial. Wow, <laughs> this is, it's one of the best watches I've, I've ever bought. It's one of the best watches I've ever sold. It's one of the heaviest also. I think it's fantastic for, you, for those that don't know. The, the Platinum Day Dates used to only have a smooth bezel and that's because Rolex were unable to produce the fluted bezel with the Platinum material. But now, for whatever reason, Rolex are able to produce with the fluted bezel and I've, I've just got to say, it's, it's a pretty damn nice watch. It's uh, yeah, amazing. I'm kind of like, I'm not reluctant to sell it because it's going to, it's going to a great pair of hands and I'm, I'm happy with the home it will live in. But yeah, it'd be, it would be cool to wear this watch for a little bit. It's also interesting with this box, like you can actually like detach this top layer and it acts as like a, like a jewelry box. Like, I think that's what it is. Like it's like jewelry compartments. That is the end of the video guys. Much love, I'll see you soon, bye bye.